Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You're a sovereign citizen. You're about to get pulled over yet again. You reach in your pocket for some papers, but we all know they are fakers. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. Today we got a short clip from a news network showing a sovereign citizen who was pulled over and allegedly bit the police. So let's watch the news clip, stick around for my commentary afterwards. I hope you liked my Cops song. Cops, by the way, is coming back. Um, before we watch this video, please raise your cup, your glass. Whatever it is you drink out of your can, your tube, into the air, let's do a sip together. It tastes better when we sip together. Same time sip. Cheers. Also, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And check out my book that I wrote on Sovereign Citizens. Buy that sucker. It's a lot of fun. It's an easy read. It's in the description below. Thanks. Tulsa police arrest a man who said he was a sovereign citizen who refused to give them his information or cooperate and then bid an officer during his arrest. News on 6's Regan Ledbetter has the story. Police say Antonio Holloway told them during a traffic stop that he was Moorish and didn't answer to the U.S. Constitution. They say he rolled up his window and drove home. Officers followed him home and arrested him. Tulsa police say they pulled Antonio Holloway over, and when they asked for his name and driver's license, he refused. Police say Holloway told officers he was a sovereign citizen, refused to cooperate, and drove off. Officers say they followed Holloway home, and when they told him he was under arrest, he fought with officers and bit an officer on the hand. Police say one of the officers tased Holloway and took him into custody. Holloway claimed he was Moorish, which means he believes he is independent from any authority of federal or state government. As I wouldn't say it happens a whole lot, but we all have came across um, someone who claims that or they're not they're not gonna they don't have to give us any information, um, and it's it's wrong. They gotta they gotta uh, listen to us and at least give us their identification. Police say Holloway is an ex-con who spent a year in prison for having a stolen vehicle. Police say they found marijuana and a gun in his car. In Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. Ah, the classic marks of a sovereign citizen. Evades the police while driving in a car. And you guys have all heard me talk about it before. I think the number one reason we have so many sovereign citizens is people get their driver's license suspended and they can't drive. So what do they do? Go to the internet. Hey, I can drive. It gives you this psychological backing if you read the sovereign citizen BS to believe that you are actually entitled to drive. So so uh, what happened here? This guy was pulled over. Um, we, we assume that he brought the right to travel speech uh, to the police officers. They had to chase him. He claimed he was Moorish. Nothing wrong with claiming Moorish national identity or, uh, you know, identity regardless. That's, that's quite a good thing and a fine thing. But it does not give you the right to ignore the laws. If you're a sovereign citizen, you're a sovereign citizen. You can be a Moorish... Uh, part of the Moorish Science Temple and not be a sovereign citizen. You could be anything and not be a sovereign citizen, but if you're a sovereign citizen too, well, oh, there we go. Um, and the, the, the kicker to this is that he bit, the, he bit the officer in the hand. He bit the officer in the hand. So what did he do? I, I know you guys have heard me say this a million times, but he escalated a simple traffic stop where he might have got a ticket to now likely an aggravated assault, a felony assault on a police officer. And if the officer had to get stitches or had some serious injury there, that's going to result in possibly some serious time for this guy. Man, you know, the last thing you want as a sovereign citizen is to be put into the jail, right? So, like I said at the beginning, bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? Don't bite them in the hand when they come for you. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and let me know what you think about my singing. I know it is fantastic. Also, buy my book and sign up for my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. Love you guys. Peace.